Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Monday, June 10th, 2019. Let's take a look at our solar wind conditions right now. Currently, we are sitting at a 343.9 kilometers per second with a density of 2.3. Checking out our sun today, and it is blank again. This now makes 22 straight days without sunspots, 96 spotless days for 2019. Our KP indices are sitting at a one, and our 24 hour max is also a one. And taking a look at our SDO in motion, we see a coronal hole to the northern part of the equatorial region here, earth facing, and should see effects from this around June 13th. More on that tonight on the live show. And from spaceweather.com, over the weekend, a huge outbreak of noctilucent clouds occurred as tendrils of frosted meteor smoke were sighted in Europe and the USA as far south as Oregon, Utah, and California. What a surprise, says Andrew Robb of Beaverton, Oregon. It's been almost 10 years since I've seen noctilucent clouds here in Oregon. They're back. Noctilucent clouds are Earth's highest clouds seeded by meteoroids that float at the edge of space more than 80 kilometers above the planet's surface. The clouds are very cold and filled with tiny ice crystals. When Sunbeam hits those crystals, they glow electric blue. Normally, noctilucent clouds are confined to the polar regions, but this year people are seeing them in middle latitudes as well. On June 8th and June 9th, the clouds appeared in California. California, Utah, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Washington, Montana, Iowa, Oregon, and Maine. Electric blue ripples also blanketed much of Europe. Why are noctilucent clouds suddenly so bright? Previous studies have shown that noctilucent clouds sometimes intensify during solar minimum. Solar minimum conditions are in effect now as the sun has been without spots for 22 consecutive days. And now here's Mark. Thanks, Jake. As many as 350,000 electricity customers were without power Sunday after severe storms blew through North Texas. In a statement Monday, Encore Electric said power had been restored to more than 80,000 customers, but its online outage tracker showed more than 240 customers were still in the dark as of 5 a.m. in Dallas County, which saw the most significant outages. At a press conference Sunday night, an Encore Encore spokesperson said that the outage would likely be a multi-day event. Encore is reaching out to its partner agencies for help making repairs. The spokesperson would not elaborate on multi-day and added it was a severe storm and the company needed to assess the damage further. Encore did not provide an estimate on when the repairs would be completed. By 5 a.m., as many as 11,000 customers in Denton County were without electricity, while the total number of affected customers in Collin, Ellis, Smith, Tarrant range from 4,500, 3,000, 1,200, and 1,000 respectively. Please be careful at down power lines, keep a safe distance away, and immediately call 911 if you are in the area and see a down power line. For safety's sake, please do not remove debris or tree limbs from areas near power lines. Encore Electric Warn. We will be back tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard time. We have new reports on volcanoes, more flash flooding worldwide. We'll be reporting on the incredible weather worldwide, flash floods, hail, strong winds, so much to cover in tonight's show. Please join us live 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, thanks for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Please like and share, and if you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button.